Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover up the unit setup single sign-on for your internal users from the module user authentication. This is the last unit of this module. So here, basically, we are going to set up sales for, uh, single sign-on for our org, and we are also going to test it. Uh, so let's just quickly proceed with these steps that are mentioned over here. So for that, launch your Trailhead Playground, and you can continue with the same Playground which we created in our first unit. So launch your Trailhead Playground, and you will land on this home page uh, setup, setup home page. Here you have to find, in uh, quick find, just type user, or you can use search setup, uh, global search to go to the user. Over here, we are using Trailhead Explanation. For this user, we are going to set up single sign-on, and here we have to set up the Federation ID as well for this user. So I have uh, uh, on the screen of Trailhead Explanation user. Over here in the details, if you scroll down, you'll find Federation ID. We have to simply edit this and paste this uh, Federation ID that, that is mentioned over here, right? So I'm going to copy this. And going back here, I'm going to paste in the single sign-on information section. And you will find the Federation ID over here. Just place this Federation ID here. And here I'm going to change the name to uh, say Trailhead exp, EXP, right? And I'm simple go, uh, simply going to save this. So the Federation ID has been set now. The next thing we have to do is we have to download uh, the certificate from this URL. So I'm going to copy this URL in a new tab. I'm going to open this up. So here you will see four options. Uh, select the SAML entity provider and test option. Now in the configuration heading, under configuration heading, you will find a link, download the identity provider certificate. Just click on this link. It will start downloading the certificate for you and it will show one uh, warning. So just ignore this and keep uh, select this keep option. It will start downloading. Now, going back to Trailhead, uh, we have to uh, enable SAML in our org. So I will uh, go to setup again. And here in quick find, I will write single sign-on. Uh, and it will filter out for our single sign-on setting option. Click on that. Over here, SAML enabled has already been uh, checked uh, for this uh, user or this org. So make sure if it is not checked uh, you check this option now we have to create a new setting click on this new and for the name i'm going to copy it from this uh, challenge itself which is exam test app and simply i'm going to paste it over here in the name text area for issuer the uh, the the url is here for the issuer so i'm going to copy it and paste it here Version SAML version is 2.0. Now here we have to uh, provide the certificate which uh, which we have just downloaded a few uh, minutes ago. So I'm going to click on choose file and simply I'm going to select it from the desktop, uh, which is okay from the downloads. And this is the certificate which we have to upload. So I will select that. And here request signature method has to be changed to SHA1. Then SAML entity type has to be Federation ID because we are uh, we will be using Federation ID for testing. Then this option will remain as it is. Over here, service provider initiated request binding. We have to select the second option, which is HTTP redirect. Then rest is fine over here. Now the only thing left is entity ID. So for that, we have to provide our domain URL. So what, we have, what we'll be doing over here is in your URL, just copy it uh, from, the, uh, from your browser URL, tillforce.com. If you can see here, copy it along HTTPS, copy it and paste it over here. So you can see I have copied tillforce.com, right? And it also includes HTTP colon uh, forward slash, uh, sorry, backward slash, right? Now just uh, click on save. Uh, we do not have to change anything else on this uh, on this setting. Now, next up, we have uh, configured all these uh, settings. 
Now we have to link your identity provider to Salesforce. Now we have to go to this URL again and under SAML identity provider and test, we have to click generate a SAML response. So I will go back to that URL again and we are to select the SAML identity provider and test option. Under generate, you will find an option generate a SAML response. Just click on this option. Now here, as you remember that I showed you in our single sign-on setting that it has to be version 2.0. If you go back to your uh, single sign-on SSO setting, you will find that version is 2.0. So I'm going to change this version uh, here uh, to 2.0. Now for Federation ID, I will be using the one which I set up for my user uh, trailhead explanation. So I'm going to copy it uh, from my user and I'll scroll down to Federation ID, there it is. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here in the Federation text ID, right? Now uh, we have to mention the issuer. So I'll go to SSO setting. And here I'm going to open up this uh, setting which we just created. Issuer, I'm going to copy it uh, from this field itself and paste it over here. For recipient URL, it is mentioned that get the URL from the SAML uh, single sign-on settings page. It is at the bottom of the page in endpoint URL, label login URL. So I'm going to copy it from here. If I scroll down and in the endpoint section, you can see that your login URL is mentioned. I'm going to simply copy it and paste it in the recipient URL section. Now, entity ID, I'm going to use it from this single sign-on setting, which we just created, scroll up. And here the entity ID is mentioned. I'm going to copy this and paste it in this response uh, for entity ID. Now, uh, rest is fine. We do not have to change anything over here. Now scroll down and click on request SAML response. Click on this login. Now it should redirect us to the uh, log. It should log in into our org. If everything works fine, you should be able to log in to our org. There you go. We are have successfully logged in. Now, uh, next we will do is we have to uh, just test it. So we are going to test your uh, work by logging into your org again. So what we are going to do is, uh, if you'll see here, we are logged in into trailhead explanations. That is fine. Now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to check our challenge, right? So in order to check our challenge, I'm simply scroll down and clicking on this button, check challenge button. It should pass this uh, challenge and we should be able to complete this module along with this unit. So let's just wait. Hopefully it should not provide any errors. There you go. This unit along with this module has been completed. Uh, in order to follow up, for more such videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video with another such module. Till then take care, goodbye.